So this is the Akara pushchair from Mamas and Papas. We got this as a bundle. So we got the pushchair, the foot muff, the rain cover, the cup holders, the adapter, the bassinet, the car seat and the car seat base all for $8.99, which I think is a pretty good deal. So let me show you how everything works. Without anything on it, this is the bare bones of the chassis. So you can see it's quite a big one and it's quite a sturdy one. It folds down really, really quickly and really easily. And that is that. And then hopefully I can reverse it just as quickly. To fold it down, we have a little silver push button here that we're gonna hold in. And then we're gonna rotate the black part of it in the way that the arrow is pointing. Lift up, over, and then it comes down. From there, we have another little black handle here and the arrow of the direction is pointing in this direction, so towards the camera. So I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna to pull towards the direction of the camera. So I hold it, pull to the camera, and then that just lifts up this part here. And then I carry on lifting and then everything's gonna collapse all together. As you can see, there's a black part here that just locks everything together. So that is just locking in this part here. So this is where the cup holder would go. So I'm gonna let that fold down and I'm gonna pull up and then it locks in. So this is the chassis folded down. It's small enough and it's light enough to hold. To undo it, I pop the wheels on the floor and then I'm gonna lift this black bit here. So if you can see there, and that is just going to release this part of the chassis. So imagine I've just got this out of the car. I'm gonna lift this black bit here to unclip it hold the handle and I'm gonna pull it towards me. And then I'm gonna think about lifting and pushing away from me. So I'm gonna lift up and then I let the wheels slide away from me and then I clip it down and then we are good to go. So we can also move this handle up and down. So we have silver hooks on either side that we can open up. From there you can pull it and you can set it to a couple of different heights. Whenever you're ready, you can just close it. So my six foot six husband prefers this setting. I like to take it all the way down and I like to use the lower setting here. We then have the cup holder attachment here. So on the back of the cup holder, we have this little groove and the groove goes on here and you can pop it down. This cup holder isn't my favorite. It's very flimsy, so it knocks off <laughs> very, very quickly and very easily. I don't find it secure enough to be able to have like a hot drink in there. So I tend to actually just not, not use it. So, but that's where it goes. This attachment doesn't come with a pushchair. This is for something else called a rocket. So we won't talk about that. And then this is where we pop in our adapters. So these are our adapters. These are for the car seat. And these can go either way around. So I can have them this way around. So here, and then to pop them off, there is a small button that we lift up. So this little bit lifts and then they can come out. So if you see the shape of it here, I can also flip them over and have them the other way around. And that just means I can have the car seat facing either direction. I can do the same with the bassinet and I can do the same with the push chair. So if I just take these out for now, we also have a safety strap at the top, which I did make fun of at first because I thought, who's gonna need this? But if you're on top of a hill for the first time with the push chair, as we were, you might wanna use this. So I stopped laughing at it at that point. And we also have a pretty hefty size basket in here. You can fit a lot of stuff in this basket. Do I have anything? Can I put the dog in there just for context? He's asleep. <laughs> like that's the only reason I'm not putting him in there. So this basket of toys, just for context, you can see the size of this toy basket. And that's just, fits in there completely. Then at the back down here, we have one brake. It's very quick and easy to just kick underneath here. And now I have free range and then I can push it down. If it's summer and you happen to be in flip flops, kicking this up can be a little bit harder, but I'll accept the fact that it's warm and I can be in flip flops. Then at the front here, we have the wheels are currently moving in any direction I want them to, but there's a little silver button at the back that if I lock them in place, now this wheel is only gonna go forwards and backwards. Clearly I've rolled in berries, that's fun for the living room. So now this only goes in one direction as much as I try not to, and then I just push the clips back. Where is the other one gone? There it is. And now we're moving in every direction. This is what we tend to use most of the time anyway. The wheels can pop on and off and be clean. We've never had to do that. We've had it for six months so far and we've just left it as is. The chassis is really big, it's really stable and I love it for that reason. Especially when we're doing more like countryside walks and this is really, really sturdy for that. 
The downsides of this is that it's so big that if I had any attachment on the side, so say I did have the cup holder on the side up here, we don't have a cup holder, we usually have the rocket on here. Either way, it's just that little bit too wide to actually get through a normal doorway here. So whatever we have on, we have to take it off anyway. So it's a fair size. I mean, it folds down really, really nicely, but the frame of this, basically completely takes over our boot and we have an Audi A3 just for context of size. Um, so we actually ended up getting a second pram just for traveling because we couldn't fit anything else in the car. So the other downside is that despite the fact that this basket is huge, if you have anything on top, like if you have the bassinet on top or the car seat on top or anything on top, you suddenly only have about this much space to put your bag through. So if you have a big changing bag, it doesn't really fit unless you put it in now when there's nothing in there, there's loads of space, you put it in. But then if you actually need to get it out, you have to take the thing off, take the baby off, which you don't really want to do. So we've had to take like smaller bags or like take bits out of the bags to fit it in. So depends what you're buying. If you're shopping, probably great. You can shove stuff in there. If you've got a massive changing bag or just a normal size changing bag is what you do, this bit is a little bit annoying. But I will happily take this chassis for that small annoyance. Let me show you the push chair. So for the push chair, we have these two holes here, which again, that's where all of your connectors go. So I'm gonna grab the push chair here. We've currently got a foot muff on the push chair, so I'm gonna show you that and then I'll take it off in a moment. So these two bottom bits here, one on either side, they're the bits that are gonna connect in. So I'm just gonna line it up here, one in this side, one in that side, and that is it, that's how easy it is. We're currently forward facing, I can also do parent facing, so I'll just show you taking it out here. There are two silver buttons, hopefully you can see, there, they don't look like buttons, so they are actually really hard to find because they don't look like they do anything. So you wanna press them in on either side, you can hear, that's my button action. Press it in either side, lift it out, super easy. I'm now gonna flip it over, just so you can see the parent facing part of it, and there we go. I've taken the bumper bar off, which I'll show you in a second, just so you can see the foot muff. The foot muff isn't always included, but it's a nice addition if it can be included. It is ridiculously warm, comfy, and super soft. Not that I've been inside it, but I can feel it. <laughs> and so we have a little zip that goes all the way around here, and then we can open it here. And it's quite a thick little thing. It's got the elastic at the bottom that goes over the footrest. And as you can see, it goes all the way to the top, so it's really beautiful. We have used this a lot in the winter, so it's just really nice to be able to pop her in there and not worry that she's gonna to get too cold. We can unzip it on either side, so it's got a zip this side, and it also has a zip this side, so it can pop open whichever direction you want. The downside, which is quite frustrating, is that this top bit doesn't come off completely. So if you do find that you're out on a cold-ish day, then the sun comes out and it's actually really hot, as has happened to us, you can't take it off without unthreading all of the straps. So that's, um, Annoying. So it feels like it should come off. I've tried many times to pull it off to the point that I feel like I'm gonna break it. So I'm not gonna break it anymore. But yeah, this is as, that's as close as you can get here to get it off. So I mean, you can, you can tuck it under, I guess. It's not ideal, but at least I guess I'm not gonna lose the top part of it. Anywho, so to take it off or to put it on, if you're doing the reverse, we need to take off all of these straps. So the padding comes off with the little poppers here. So we have one, two, and three at the bottom, and then we're gonna unthread all five straps. I'll do it with the top bit off. So I'm gonna just unpop one, two, and then leave that bottom one. So I've just unpopped the top two, left the bottom one, because that can go in there super easy. If I unthread from the top first, so we're gonna unthread at the top there behind the little head resty part, unthread, and then it's gonna go through the seat there, and then same on the other side. It doesn't take too long, but if you're out and about, you don't really want the hassle and faff of doing that. And then we're gonna do the same with these middle parts, one either side, and then same with the crotch section, let's call it. And then I'm just gonna fold it up, zip it up, because it'll annoy me if I come to it and it's not zipped up. There we go. And there is our little butler. So now we are left with just the blank push chair by itself. We can redo everything, so I'm just gonna put the straps back through here. And as you can see underneath this headrest, we actually have three different heights for these straps to go through, so they can grow with your baby. And we also have these little straps that just go over, clip them into place. So again, these are just poppers, so these like take no time at all. 
Despite the fact that we've used this for about six months, it doesn't look like it's got much wear and tear. I think there's definitely been the odd like dribble mountain coming down on the straps here, but as you can see, we can take them off and wash them. But otherwise, everything else looks really good condition for six months, which makes me very happy. One of my favorite things about it is the bumper bar. So the bumper bar, I don't know why this needs to be like soft and luxurious, but it is soft and luxurious on the handle. But when we want to pop it in, we've got holes on either side and then you've got the bits that go in the holes there. So we're just going to pop these in on either side. When you want to get baby out, there is a small little silver button here on either side. Whichever side you want, you can press in, lift up and it comes out. And because the end here can angle whichever direction it wants to. It just means that you can take the baby out, you can just let this come out and you're not gonna break it because sometimes I feel like I am shoving other bumper bars in there, which doesn't make me happy. And then we can just pop it in and then we're good to go again. We have a button on either side here so we can press them both in and let the leg rests come down. So this is gonna be our lowest position. We can lift it up until it clicks here. And then this is our top position. This is what we tend to have at the moment. And then for the back, we can also let it come back so we've got this little silver button here. We're gonna pull it in towards us and then allow it to lower down. So this is our top position, pull it, lower it down to the middle position, pull it, lower it down to the bottom position. And this is what we can use when they're newborn or if they're lazy. No, if they're sleeping, we can have them in this position. Obviously you can fit the bassinet if you have a bassinet as well, which I'll show you in a minute, but otherwise this is kind of your flat option here. We also have the hood, which protects from the sun. I mean, it might be useless if they're down in this position, but when they're sitting up, it gives you a lot of coverage. So if I pop it back up, just so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so here, this is in its smallest position. We have a zip here, so if I open the zip here, and then I can pop it forward, so it's gonna go forward like this. It also has a little pop back bit here, so it's clear that you can see through. And obviously it depends if you're here, like I can't see through this at this point, but I can either go off my tippy toes and look, or I can fold it back and I can see through that now. And it also has one more zip section at the back, and this is just a little mesh panel. So this is the same idea, but this is just a breathable one. So it doesn't fold any extra on this, but it just allows you to look through there. And then we can just pop this back up. My favorite part of this whole push chair, is that sad that I have a favorite part, is a five strap harness, which I thought I was gonna hate, but I actually love it. So the first part is number one that goes through the legs. Second part is around the back. So here we're gonna clip it underneath there. One at the top, two, obviously the bottom one is three, and then we have four, and then we have five. I thought this was gonna be a really faffy function, but it means that we don't have to physically put her arms in anything. We can just sit her in it and it, we can just take them over the top. And it's not difficult for her to get in and out. It's not difficult for us to take her in and out, which I think, let's face it, is the main thing. So then she's actually really secure because she's got the shoulder straps, the waist strap and the strap down the middle. So really, really handy. To come out, we're just gonna press this button here and everything should hopefully come out nice and easy. And then we are good to go. You can fold this whole push chair down as one unit. I do find it quite heavy when it's all together. So depending on how far you're going with it, you might actually just want to take the push chair off. I'm also not going to lie, it's one of the most stressful things trying to fit this down together. I don't know whether ours was new and was really stiff or something, but my goodness, was it stressful. Anywho, let me show you how you do it. So we've got this button on the back again that we're going to lift up and pull forwards. All I'm then meant to do is press down on this yellow bit, but that for me, does nothing and that's where it's quite stressful. So what I have to do for this one is lift the handle, fold it forward. I then have to push it down a little bit there and then hopefully if I press down on this yellow bit, you can see it then folds forward. And that little push down, if you don't know you have to do it, stress. Then we're gonna carry on and do the same folding forward here. Now this time I've got this handle here that I'm gonna lift. So I can just put my hand straight through, lift it, and then we're here. I can also pop it down like that and it stands up. It feels a little bit like I shouldn't, even though I know I can. To undo it, I'm gonna lift it, pop it on its wheels again. So I'm gonna undo the black bit. It's a little bit heavier to get up and over. And then I'm gonna pull the handle up. It can be a little bit stiff all the way back. And then the handle comes up again. I'm just gonna show you the reverse of it because it is slightly different. Okay, so then when it's parent facing, I'm gonna do the same bit on the back. So lift the handle, folding it forwards. I then need to take everything back to the other side. The handle then comes down again. Hopefully this black bit, if I do it quick enough, is gonna attach onto that hook there. So if I pull it 
This one isn't as good because it doesn't clip in as well, but you know, it still folds down. So for the rain cover, you can kind of see the shape of it already. We're just gonna whack it over the back here and then it can go underneath the footrest. You also have these little clips here that can go either side and then they can clip in there. And then obviously same on the other side. Not gonna lie, we don't tend to clip them in because we don't really need to clip them in. We're usually just on a dog walk, so it's super easy. Um, you have extenders here that you can make it bigger or smaller, depending on what this bit underneath is doing. If you are folding it back, you can also fold it back and it covers the whole thing, which is obviously necessary if your baby is lying down. Um, otherwise, if you are not, get that back up again. You can pull these two bits together to just make it that little bit tighter. One of the things that's really good about this one, which I just found out the other day, is, I don't know why I just found it out, but we've got a different rain cover. So we have this zip here, so we can leave it, because it was raining this morning, so we actually just left it up like this. You can pull down the front bit, and then you can get the baby out without having to take the rain cover on and off. And that's just really handy if you know that you're in the UK and it's going to rain all the time. Um, and then we can just zip it back up. I like it because it just fits. You don't have to faff around with like really trying to squeeze it in place because sometimes that's like difficult. And then I'm just going to undo these bits at the bottom and I can take it off from the bottom or from the top depending on if you actually don't have a baby in like I don't or whether you want to be a bit more careful. And then we can just throw that one to the side. The last thing I'm gonna show you in this video is the bassinet because we also got that included. I'm not gonna show you the car seat and car seat base in this video because we will be here all day, but I'll do that in another video. So this is the bassinet. We actually didn't use it too much out and about because we had a little baby sling that we used instead. We did use this in the house downstairs as her kind of newborn downstairs nap station, I guess. Um, so it has been useful for us in that way. Oh, somebody's awake, so not the baby. So we have, again, the attachments on the bottom here and they just slot in either side and that's pretty much it. So this top bit isn't zipped down or anything, it literally just comes off like that, which I've always found a bit weird because she has been able to lift it all like in the wind it's lifted. Um, then we can pop her off the top here and we can just have it off completely. Inside here we have a button on either side and if you press the button on either side, then you can fold back the hood halfway or all the way here and then however you want to have it from there. I'm just going to pop this back over. So this is just a nice little addition. We always had it parent facing. We also have in here a little peeky hole, which obviously doesn't really help if I'm this direction because I can already see her. But if I'm this way around, then I can actually see in the mesh bit here. To take it out, it's not where you think. There's a button on the front here. We're gonna lift it and then you can pop it off from the top here and then the whole thing comes off. So all in all, I do absolutely love this push chair. I do have some pros and cons. So my pros are that this is so sturdy, it's not going anywhere. I'm more than happy to put my baby in here and I'm not worried that it's gonna fold down or fall on her and collapse, anything like that. I like how versatile it is because we obviously have this and we have the bassinet and we have the car seat. We didn't use the bassinet as much as I thought we would, so I'm glad it came with the bundle rather than us buying it separately. I absolutely love the five point harness and the way that the bumper bar moves. I absolutely love being able to see the baby through the little holes here. My cons are things like how fiddly some of the bits are. So folding down this with the push chair, see how you feel if you try it, but I found it so frustrating, especially when you watch the video and the man's in there and he just pushes it down and it looks like an absolute dream and you're there for half an hour trying to figure it out. I'm not about that. But otherwise, really love this and would happily recommend. Let me know if you do have any questions about this one. We certainly didn't ask enough questions when we actually bought it because we didn't have a clue what we should ask and we ended up having to buy a second smaller push chair, but this is still our go-to every day dog walk kind of a push chair, but hopefully that has helped.